What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Star Bazaar and to more lightsaber duels in Battlefront 2. Today's video has been heavily requested down in the comments. Every single duel video I upload, I get some variation of the question, what is a hook swing and how do I do it? So that's going to be the focus of today's video, the hook swing, or the jump hook, or the hook attack, jump attack, whatever you want to call it, it's all the same thing. Basically what it is, is you jump through your opponent, and in the middle of that jump you pull a 180 and then attack their back. You're hooking around them and then swinging your lightsaber at their back, hence the name hook swing. And these duels that I have in today's video highlight them for the most part. Of course we did different things in the duels, but all of these clips use the hook swing to some degree, and I figured it would be a good visual as I'm talking about it. There I just went for a hook swing, uh, but I wasn't close enough to my target. It's still something that I'm personally getting the hang of, which is partly why I held off on making this video for so long. I just wasn't the best at them at the time. Still not the best at them, but I'm getting the hang of it. I lost that first duel pretty quickly. This is my old rival from a previous vid, Qui-Gon's Jin. I squatted up with uh, him and his buddies the last couple of days and we got some really good duels. Here's a rematch between his maul and my Ray. Chill, bro, Got the knockdown with the dash, with a follow-up, but he was able to hit me immediately after. I hit him with the mind trick to stop his movement as much as I can. Got one hit in and he hits me with the uh, saber throw. Knock him down, but I didn't want to follow up because I knew he was going to go for an attack. As soon as I tried to hit him, I would have lost. I was able to get two hits in there, that was pretty clean. There's some cross-conversation going in this duel. I'm gonna have to turn the clip volume down. But here he's keeping his distance. He knows I'm looking for the hook to finish it. The hook swing is a really good finishing move when your opponent's low on health, like he is right now. It would be a good time to go for the hook, but since I'm low, he's gonna be trying to hook on me as well. We both got our health back. I missed that knockdown and he was able to hit me. But I hit him with the mind trick to slow him down a bit. He's keeping his distance. He hits me with the saber throw, so I'm two hits away from losing, so I'm trying to be a little safer. He parries me clean there. And he missed that choke, so I was able to hit him once. I'm low, so I'm trying to avoid him as much as I can. He parries me clean there. And now he's going for hook swings because I'm low. I'm one hit away, so if he lands a clean hook, it's over. I knock him down, get one follow-up. I should have done two, I would have won. But there I hit him with the mind trick and finish it with the hook. That was a good example of a hook swing and how you can finish duels with it. It's a move that's a little bit more involved than something like the parry. The parry is something that you can pick up relatively quickly. Just practice it for a day or two and you basically have it. The hook swing has more moving parts. You have to make sure that your sensitivity is up high enough to where you can actually make that, that turn in midair. You have to make sure that you're standing in the right spot relative to your opponent, otherwise you'll miss the attack. There's just a lot more that goes into it. Like I said, I'm still working on this myself and I've been at it for about a month and a half at this point and I'm just now figuring out the sweet spot and how to maximize it. These duels against Vader uh, didn't have very many examples of hook swings. I just like including good fights against Vader, because Vader's very tough to duel. In the video where I called him cheating, I had a lot of... not necessarily angry comments, just comments who disagreed with that statement, but uh, it's okay, everyone's wrong sometimes. This player was really good. I've uh, come across Godly Mal a few times, shout out to you. These duels were a battle of parries. Uh, still working on my parry timing, um, as I've mentioned before, and I'm getting better every single day. You know, going up against players who have their parry timing down, it really helps my parry timing, because most of the people that I play against in Hero Showdown are relatively new, and they know how to parry a lot of the time, but their timing isn't the best. So I get used to the timing of the newer players, and, you know, it's a bit of an adjustment having to adjust to the more experienced players' timing. But I think I found my pace for the most part. Here, I'm going for the finish against Vader because I've got him on the back foot almost this entire duel. He gets me in a clean choke there though, plus a follow-up attack. 
Let me get that clean jump attack, though. Keeping my block up, getting my health back. He pops Focused Rage, so he's got some extra stamina. Yeah, I'm getting some clean parries there, but he hit me three times in a row. Four times in a row there. And I thought I had it with that last parry. I was going for style points, but uh, he must have hung on by just about five or ten health or so. And he's got me low now. A hook swing would be perfect for either of us at this point. And I think this duel was before I was getting the hang of the hook swing, so it wasn't really in my mind to try it. I baited that parry, but I missed the timing. Got that one with two hits. I went for the finish with the defensive rush, but I wasn't able to get through his block. Here, I'm trying to bait a parry out of him, but he's keeping that block high. He's not falling for it. Hits me with both hits of the saber throw. That hurt a lot. And he parries me cleanly twice and gets the win. My mistake there was being antsy. Patience pays off in lightsaber duels. My rematch against Mal was against his Maul. I get one hit off of that chokehold, although he hits me with the return hit on the lightsaber throw. Here I'm trying to read his spin attack, and I'm usually pretty good at reading when Darth Maul will do his spin attack. Mal was very unpredictable though, it made it difficult to parry. I staggered him clean there though, but he hits me twice after I hit him once. Brings me down to 7 health. I cannot risk getting hit again. He's anchored with the choke, but that leaves him open to be hit by the push. I was just after the damage anyway, so it worked out. I'm trying to stay off the center line. Because the downside to the saber throw and the spin attack is that it, it goes forward. Whichever direction Darth Maul is facing, that's the direction the ability goes. So if you can stay off the center line, you can avoid those abilities almost every time. He hits me with the saber. I got a parry and a follow-up. Although he parries me right back. I'm baiting a few parries. I missed the first two, but parried the spin. Like I said, staying off the center line so the saber throw misses me. And right there, I could have had an easy parry on that spin, but my timing just was not there. Hit him with the mind trick to stop his abilities. Do some damage with the defensive rush. He parries me clean. If he did a double parry, I would have lost. I tried to follow up after that chokehold, but I was a little too far away. I was hoping for the lock-on. Got a parry with a follow-up there. And I was very lucky with that force push. He had to be right on the edge of the radius. Part of me feels like I shouldn't have got that. Now, this, these next duels were against that group I mentioned before. Uh, Qui-Gon's Jin and his buddies. This is Corn Dude. Another great duelist. My timing on that uh, push was just right as he started the frenzy so I could get the knockdown. We loaded up on a couple of parries right there. And I don't know what I'm doing. I'm kind of heavy on the attack button. I think I'm just trying to feel out when he's going to try to parry. I missed that push. I did kind of a variation of a hook swing there. I do a dodge through them and then a tiny 180 short hop into an attack. He's going for some hook swings here because I'm low. And that's what I'm talking about. It was playing with this group that really showed me the right time to do the hook swing and the right spot to be in to land it. The only reason he's not landing those hooks is because I'm dodging out of the way at just the right time. But if I were holding still, I would have probably lost by now. And it's just another way to get around the block. You know, you have the parry, you have... you're dodging around so you can get around them. I mean, theoretically, you could even run in a circle around to their back, but the opponent has to really not know what they're doing for that to work. The hook swing is just a fast way to get around to their back and hit the exposed target. See, he's really going for it now because I'm low. I got the knockdown on that push. I avoided the freeze. We're just step and step right now. That was a good exchange. Hit him with the defensive rush. And he missed that pull. But I missed the push. A little bit of push, a little bit of pull. That's how these duels went. It was good back and forth. 
He staggers me with the frenzy and gets a clean couple of hits in after that. I knock him down with the push, and we're both pretty low. Right now, I should be trying a hook swing. Don't mind me. And I think this was before that had clicked. See, he hit me with a clean one there out of the freeze. Got some skippiness and lagging going on, it looks like. But this was a good lesson for me that the hook swing is a finisher. If you can think of it the same way you think of Kylo Ren's Frenzy, where the last hit breaks the block and you're almost guaranteed to win if your opponent's low on health. Basically the same idea with the hook swing. If your opponent cannot dodge it, they will lose. And I got the win off of a double parry there. Darth Maul versus Anakin is always a good time. This arena was rough. This map in general is not the best for dueling, because on the floor below you have that pit that you can fall into, and that's never fun. And up here is really the only flat spot where you're not in danger of falling, but the problem is you have no room from left to right. It's just a narrow hallway. So not my favorite map for duels, but looks pretty good at least. I was trying to uh, bait either a spin or a saber throw so I could knock him down, but he wasn't biting. Got two hits there, three hits there, that was pretty good. And I pull him, but I suck, so I wasn't able to follow up. Hits me with the return throw of the saber. I get a hook swing into his back there while he was anchored. Once again, I was hoping he would do a spin or a throw, but he's not biting. Good hit on the saber throw, and I missed the pull. Here, I'm trying to bait a couple of parries, but he's being defensive because he's lower in health than me. That was a good combo with the return hit of the saber throw followed by the choke. I missed that knockdown even though I felt like I should have got it. Here he's going a little bit more aggressively. He's going for those hooks. <laughs> Spun right out the window. And when he makes it back upstairs, we get to resume. And I finally landed that pull on him, but I wasn't able to get the second follow-up, so he's low. I should be going aggressively and fishing for that hook swing right now, but I'm, you know, I still wasn't uh, quite there yet. I accidentally locked on to Dooku. Here, I think it clicked, and I was going for the hook right there. Getting my stamina back. Got one parry in. Yeah, right now I should be charging at him and going for hook swings. Baited that parry with a follow-up attack. That was good. I missed the passionate strike. This was kind of a chess match. I'm pretty sure this one went all the way down to the end. He blocked my pull and got the chokehold off on me. I missed another passionate strike. Missed two parries there. And now he's starting to do some damage, so I'm going to hang back for a second and get my health back. And I expected the throw, but I missed the heroic might, unfortunately. Here, I'm just trying to chip away at his stamina. Hopefully he tries to parry me and I can get the finish. But again, that would have been a perfect time to go for the hook swing. Here I've got Retribution, but I'm just going to hold on to it. I got that knockdown, but I was not able to finish it, unfortunately. That happened so much in this play session. I got clean knockdowns where I should have finished the duel, and I just was not able to do it. I think it'll happen one more time in this fight, actually. He's got me low after that return hit on the saber. I got that final hit on the Passionate Strike. I'm still not going for hook swings. It's actually frustrating to watch. Once again, I got one hit in but couldn't finish it. I don't have Passionate Strike, otherwise I would have gone for it. Got a parry on that spin attack. He parries me. Hits me with the spin. And right there, I should have had it, but I suck, so I didn't. 
clean parry there. And I'm not too sure what happened here. I think he wanted to just take it to a draw because we were four seconds away from the end of the round. And uh, they would have lost their Dooku and Maul if they had won that round. So I think he just let me have it. So it went to a draw. I don't necessarily count that as a win. I'll count that as a draw. But here he's switched over to Grievous. And uh, despite what you might think, Grievous can actually hook swing as well. He's got a bit of a different jump than the other lightsaber heroes. Gravity seems to affect him more. But despite that, he can do hook swings. Uh, they're just more of a short hop. I've actually gone over Grievous's short hop ability in another video where he can chain quick short hop attacks uh, back to back. There, I was swinging at my partner because he seemed like he was getting in the way. I don't know what this Yoda's doing. He's just right in the middle of our duel. Guess he needed some attention. But we get to resume. He goes for Claw Rush, and I get two hits off of it. I went for a knockdown, but I was not able to get it. And there's that short hop jump attack that Grievous does. That wasn't a hook version, that was just uh, right in front of me. But you'll see the hook actually happen a couple times. There I get one hit, plus the knockdown off the dash, plus another hit off the Claw Rush. And he's really hurting here. I was trying to bait a parry, but he didn't do it. He's getting his health back. Got that knockdown. Ray's knockdown is very powerful. You can kind of just force your way past your opponent's block and get it. He's playing cautiously. He went for a hook swing there, but he jumped a little bit too high. I parried the thrust surge. He knocks me down with the claw rush. And here, once again, I should be going for hooks, but he's dodging effectively. I'm trying to parry each other. So he just forced my way through the block and got the knockdown. It's ridiculous. Got a hook swing there, but I'm pretty sure he's got Flesh's weak on. So whenever Grievous is low on health, he's harder to take down. I wasn't trying to trap him there. I just thought it was a good time to do the mind trick, and he happened to be out of bounds. But that was a great sequence of moves that he did. He got two clean hits, plus a hook swing to finish it. I only had 160 health at the end, and he was able to get that win with a clean hook with Grievous. So like I said, it's possible. It's just a little bit trickier on an already tricky move. So if you can master the hook swing with Grievous, you're doing pretty okay for yourself. For this last duel, I'm going up against Luke Skywalker with my Kylo Ren. This is Zero, another duelist from that group that I was with the other day. Shout out to all of you, man. Corn Dude, Qui-Gon's Jin, Zero. I really appreciate the the duels, the practice with hook swings. And that's the thing, man. If you play against skilled, talented players, you yourself will become a skilled and talented player. Unfortunately, Hero Showdown is kind of uh, littered with newer players, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's nice to see the mode, you know, popular and people are enjoying it, but it would be nice if I could come across more high-leveled players more often. It's a rare treat these days as opposed to the norm. But there I got a clean parry off on Luke. Hit him with the block breaker on Frenzy. That was a wild miss on the freeze, though. I parried him, but he hits me right back. I'm one hit away from losing. I risked that Frenzy. I'm pretty sure if he tried to hit me, I would have lost. Although I did have damage reduction from the Frenzy, so I'm not quite sure what the math would have ended up with. But we're both very low. He's going fairly aggressively. I hit him with the first hit and the block breaker, but it was not enough. Keeping our blocks high. And Frenzy finishes it. I got the lucky second hit and then the block breaker. Never fails. But that is it for today's lightsaber duels. I hope today's video helped you out with the hook swings. Or if you didn't know what they were, hopefully now you do now. Like I said, it's a tricky move and it does take practice. You can't exactly pick it up like you can the parry. So keep trying. Hopefully you'll find that sweet spot like I've been. And maybe I'll make a breakdown video that goes over just the hook swing. I've been reluctant on doing that because the parry breakdown video definitely changed the meta of Battlefront 2, and I didn't necessarily want the hook swing to do that. 
but I mean, people are going to figure it out eventually. So let me know in the comments if that's something you'd like to see. If you liked today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down. Either way, if you're new, consider subscribing and getting notified to stay in the loop with more Battlefront 2 videos. That's going to do it from me. I will see you all out on the battlefront. Peace.